Welcome to Flyers TV. Tonight we'll have uh, three Cardiff fans to interview. It's their first visit to Kirkcaldy and there was a great support up from Wales uh, tonight, so we'll give them a chance to give their views on their first visit to the barn. That's followed by an interview with Todd Duty and his reflections on tonight's game and a preview into Wednesday's game in Brayhead. Welcome to Flyers TV. We have Cardiff Devil fans with us tonight. Uh, names? Mike. Danny. Steph. This your first trip to Kirkcaldy? It yes. is. And what do you think of it? It's fantastic. Such history. Yeah. Real good atmosphere. Did you enjoy the game? Obviously you won 3-1, so you've, you've got to say yes. But mm. what do you think of the atmosphere and having an old barn? It's not too bad, eh? Uh, the fact that the fans are practically sat on the ice, it just makes the whole atmosphere ten times better. Yeah. You can practically uh, touch the people who you're supporting and tap them on the back if you wanted to. It's great. Yeah, you can practically t do that with the players as well, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, it's a really good feel. and yeah, The whole place just kind of old style and yeah. lovely. Yeah, 75 years next year. It's a long time. It's even older than me. Um, you've got Edinburgh tomorrow. You'll be looking for the hat-trick of wins. I've got, I've got to say, I thought your team played very well tonight. Uh, um, to get a goal in the five and three uh, kind of killed us a wee bit, and that was a, that was well done in you guys. But um, how how long have you been? Well, you've been a longer Devils fan than your family, I believe. Is that right? Um, we've been going to Devils games for about fifteen years, I think it is. Uh, love yourself. Uh, about eight years, eight on and off. Yeah. Oh, you're a season fan now. <laughs> yeah. So Edinburgh tomorrow. How, what, what do you hope for there? Uh, just another win, strong win. We'll have to see how these injuries play out tonight, whether or not uh, yeah. Richie took a big knock at the, on the boards at the end there. and uh, He looks seriously injured, actually. Yeah, anyway, well, when you go into the boards like that, yeah. players know to put the brakes on. So yeah, yeah. he was, just looked unfortunate. It was obvious that Dudium didn't mean to do what he did. No, Todd's not, not that kind of player. No, he, he, really. looked, he looked apologetic. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I don't know what happened at the end. There, there was seemed a wee stromash with... Uh, one of your guys and, and Tim Maxwell. I don't know what happened. Um, no, I don't know what happened there. It's just a strange one. But anyway, thanks for your. The fans were great tonight. Um, the, the Cardiff fans, I mean. Um, thanks for coming up. I hope you enjoyed yourself here. And we'll see you back here next season, hopefully. Could be, yes. Okay, thanks very much. Safe yeah. journey home. Thanks, thank yeah. you. Bye bye. Todd, a defeat tonight. Um, first period, I thought we played extremely well, but I felt the turning point was the 5 on 3 where they broke away and scored. Yeah, I'll break it down quickly for you. I think uh, their first goal, uh, you know, it was one of the only times we got scrambling in the first period, and they pounced on that opportunity. But I think if you look at overall the, th the first period, I think um, we had great chances. I think, um, you know, I think Frankie showed why we wanted to sign him. I think he was a force out there, certainly in the first period. And, uh, you know, the second period, you hit the nail right on the head. I think that... Um, Anytime you give up on a five on three goal, it sucks the life out of you. It sucked the life out of the bench a little bit. And certainly I saw the atmosphere in the building go down a little bit. And I mean, that's to be expected because you just can't do that if you want to win hockey games, right? So that, so we lose that period and don't play so good in that period. Have a word with the guys. We come back in the third and you know what? A little bit negated. We were a bit down. It was two nothing again and we were chasing our tails around. We make a decision to pull the goalie. It goes goes against us again, but you know we're here to win hockey games. We're not here just to compete, right? Yeah. And then Frank sets up Horny to, to get us back in it. So, I mean, really, like you said, bad giveaway, five on three shorthanded goal, and an empty netter. I mean, that's the difference tonight, really. Yeah. yeah. So there's an incident at the end of the game there where you you got a two minute uh, penalty. Um, what, what happened exactly? Yeah, I think it's a combination of factors, right? We're down. Um, we need to get that puck. It's an icing. Maxi throws it there. Apparently it was offside, but I think that, so if we're both going for that puck, I think that that ref has to blow that whistle down before we get into the goal line. I mean, mm -hmm. if an offensive player is charging for that puck, you blow it down immediately. So it's a late whistle up right there. Second of all, I mean, that could have been me on the other side of it. We're both reaching for that puck and the kid mm -hmm. goes down and he fell awkwardly. And that's not a great situation. I don't want to see yeah. guys hurt out there. I mean, that's just, uh, and, and everybody who knows me, that's not in my style of game. So there was a few niggly things out there. I think, uh, you know, I think something happened to Frankie. I think somebody went after Maxi. But you know what? It's hockey. Like, I mean, we've been, we've been growing up like that, and, and people like to see that. But certainly, uh, as far as uh, the guy that went into the boards, I mean, there's no intent to injure there. I mean, everybody knows our team. We don't play dirty. We don't, we don't play hockey like that. I mean, that's strictly going for that puck. So, um, but, you know what I mean? That, that shows you you got to be careful on those touch icings because... Uh, you know, injuries can happen. That's right. Well, yep. wish, I'm sure we'll, you'll join me and say, wish him a, food, a speedy recovery from you. Yeah, I hope he's all right. I mean, I didn't even see what happened there. You know, like there was a bit of a melee at the end. But, uh, 
Uh, I mean, I'm sure you'll recover and sure you'll be fine. That's right. Uh, great atmosphere in the building again tonight, the, which the Cardiff fans contra contributed to. Um, am I right in saying that, would I be right in saying that at the start of the season, a 2 nothing would have been looked on as not a bad performance against, uh, or not a bad result against Canada, but now we're disappointed because we're looking to win these games. Is that yeah. fair to say? Yeah, I'm disappointed. I mean, like when we came out and we played Coventry, I think we lost to them 2 nothing, yeah. and everybody thought that was a great game, mm. but I'm not in, I'm not here to yeah. lose 2 nothing. you know what I mean? We're here to win games. And... Uh, you know, we, we did get the backing directors and they made things happen for us quick. We identified these guys and it's just disappointing. I think like, you know, without being overly critical, because I think like, I think the work ethic's been there the last couple games, but, and this is a credit to the British guys, the last two goals that this hockey club sc scored mm -hmm. has been by the Brits, yeah. Stephen Gunn and Kyle Horn. Mm -hmm. So the import's got to start generating some offense. I mean, that's what these guys are here for. Um, and don't get me wrong, there's everything that you have to do on the ice, right from defensively to all the way, but we've got to find a way to put the puck in there if we're going to win games. It was Frankie and uh, Dennis's uh, debut today. How did you feel they did? Yeah, I think Caddick, um, like his, his stuff was lost at the airport. Um, so he just got on the ice with us briefly last night. I think this is a totally different style uh, of uh, game than he's used to. But I thought he was all right. I mean, he'll get in shape for this big ice and he'll get in shape for... He looked a little nifty with the puck and he looks like he can shoot. But we got to get somebody who's going to get him the puck consistently to put in the net. Um, Frankie, on the other hand, I mean, he's been in this league for since the start of the season. We identified early that that's a player that we'd like, and I think throughout the game he showed it, but I think certainly in that first period, I think Frankie could have had two or three, yeah. if I'm right, and I think that he was probably pretty much a, you know our biggest offensive threat, and I think like I think he's going to come good for us, and he creates a lot of room. Yeah. So once, once he settles in, he seems happy. Um, you know, I was talking to him, he's happy with the town, happy with the place, uh, fits in well with the guys, he's a nice guy. Yeah. So I certainly think that those two guys... Um, you know, have a calming effect in the club, but now it's pressure like myself, Stuart, Hartmanis, all these guys got to find a way to put the puck in the net, man. Yeah, that's it. Now we travelled through to Greyhead during the week. It's going to be a tough one. They've got yep. a big uh, Challenge Cup semi final tomorrow. Yeah. Um, we we'll need, we'll need to take something from that game, don't we? Yeah. Well, it's, it's getting down to. Well, it just seems it seems like we're kind of all getting negated here. You know, Dundee keeps dropping points. Hull keeps dropping points. And it's frustrating on my part because I'm just viewing this as opportunities for us to catch up. And then we get an opportunity like tonight, and we drop you know, we drop points. We're staying status quo. But Brayhead, great team. I mean, those guys score goals for fun. I mean, yeah. you just got to look in the standings to know they got three or four guys up there in the top scoring. So very difficult to reel those guys in, very difficult to, to generate. I mean, uh, you know, their coach there has, uh, has them playing really solid and Bray has a tough place to go yeah. um, but you're right uh, we gotta we gotta start viewing these games as well on the plus side we've already beaten them this season although it was here so yeah. we've got to take that positive through and, and uh, just give it all I think so and I think we have to do that every game I mean I, I, I really I can understand people's frustration because I mean I'm, I'm in the exact same boat and I'm you know I'm living it every day because we're here practice but I mean um, you know if you look at the last say say right from Christmas through all the through a few troubles, through a few changes and everything like this, there's been pretty consistent good play. You know what I mean? Like this is something that did I want to see this back in October? Absolutely. It's oh. January now. We're definitely three or four months behind schedule. But I think that um, there's a lot of positives I can take from this. Yeah. But I, I really I understand the pressures of having to win a game, and, and that's and that's what we have yeah. to do. I think on the plus side, we've got a, a, a team that are playing for each other now, and. And uh, we'll just have to do, you know, six, as you say yourself, 60 minutes every game from here on in. And uh, if it's good enough, it'll be good enough. Yeah, and I think there's lots to motivate us. I mean, I talked to the guys before the game about, um, you know, the, the reality of, uh, of a playoff spot. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really is right there. And it's going to come down to the three team schedules and how they perform in it. I mean, that is, that's the gist of it. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to worry about what Dundee's doing. I'm not going to worry about what Hell's doing. We have to worry about ourselves. But... Um, we do have a good mix. We do have guys that want to play. And I mean, you can see, like, if you look at a guy like, say, Stephen Gunn, at the start of the year, looked at a place, weren't sure what we could do with him and stuff like this. Now, you know, he, he's getting consistent ice time. And, and that goes for a lot of the Brits, you know. But at the end of the day, 
you know, it's about generating offense. You know what I mean? We can play as good defense as we want. we got to generate some. So, you know, hopefully get good news on Cohen. I'm, we're supposed to get some results here this weekend on him. And, you know, I kept saying this, but I'll say it again. I mean, uh, my biggest concern is his health. Of course. And, uh, you know, we, we wish him, him and his family the best. But um, I'll tell you what, you know, people, they, they don't forget. I mean, it's easy to just get in and start playing. But with Maxie and Matt Cohen back there, I mean, that helps as well. You know, it's all these little things that, that, that'll, uh, that'll make a big difference to our lineup, you know. Yeah. And, I mean, really our next home game is a Sky Sports game. I mean, if you can't get up for that, I mean, really you can't get up for anything. I mean, yeah. we gotta we got to come out and give our best performance of the season in this building yeah. because we're playing to a national audience right now. Yeah. I think that if the crowds are anything like they've been the last couple of weeks, those guys are going to give a good count of themselves. I think yeah. it's something that we should be excited about. But the pressure is squarely on our shoulders to come out, perform, and beat a Coventry team that uh, is looking pretty good right now. But, hey, we're up for it. Good, thanks again for another honest interview. Commiserations for tonight. Good luck on Wednesday. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.